एवरी वन एंड वेलकम टू निमिषा ऑडियो बुक्स श्रीमद भगवद गीता चैप्टर थर्टीन प्रकृति पुरुष विवेक योग द योगा ऑफ डिफ्रेंसिएशन बिटवीन मैटर एंड कॉन्शियसनेस अर्जुन सेट ओ केशव आई विश टू नो अबाउट मटीरियल नेचर प्रकृति द इंजॉयर पुरुष द फील्ड द नोवर ऑफ द फील्ड नॉलेज and the object of knowledge bhagwan shri krishna replied o son of kunti arjun this body is known as the field and one who knows this field is said by the wise to be the knower of the field you should know that i am the knower of all fields o descendant of bharat i consider the knowledge of the field and its knower to be real knowledge Now hear from me in brief about what the field is what constitutes it what are its transformations its origin and who is the knower of the field and what is his influence the knowledge has been sung in many different ways by different sages by the vedas and is found in the logically conclusive chapters of the vedant sutras The main elements are the false ego intelligence the unmanifest material nature the 10 senses the mind the five sense objects desire hate pleasure pain the gross body consciousness and determination all these elements that are described here are considered to be the field desirelessness humility non violence tolerance simplicity service to the spiritual master purity steadiness self control detachment from sense gratification absence of false ego perception of the miseries of birth death old age and disease detachment freedom from attachment to wife children and household life perpetual equanimity in both happy and distressful circumstances constant and firm devotion unto me dwelling in a solitary place free from the desire to socialize with the masses constant determination in achieving self realization and a desire to gain knowledge of the absolute truth all these qualities have been declared to be knowledge anything contrary to this is ignorance i shall now explain the object of knowledge knowing which one attains immortality it is subordinate to me and is the eternal supreme brahman that is beyond material cause and effect his hands and feet are everywhere his eyes heads and mouths are everywhere his ears are everywhere thus he exists pervading all things he illuminates all the senses and their functions however he is devoid of any material senses himself he remains detached and he is the maintainer of all although he is devoid of all material qualities he is the master of all qualities he is situated in all moving and non moving beings he is near yet simultaneously he is far away thus he is most subtle and difficult to fully understand although it seems that he is divided amongst all living beings he is in fact undivided he is to be known as the creator maintainer and destroyer he is said to be the most brilliant of all luminaries beyond darkness he is knowledge the object of knowledge and the aim of all knowledge thus the field of activities knowledge and the object of knowledge have been briefly explained by understanding these my devotee attains love for me you should know that both material nature and the living beings are without beginning try to understand that all transformations and the modes of nature 
originate from material nature. It is said that material nature is the source of all causes and effects. The living beings are said to be the cause of their own happiness and distress. Situated within material nature, the living beings enjoy the modes that are born of material nature. Due to the individual's association with these modes, the living beings take birth repeatedly within higher and lower species of life. The Supreme Person, who is known as the Super Consciousness, Paramatma, resides within this body. He is the witness of all things, the Supreme Authority, the Provider, the Maintainer and the Ultimate Controller. Therefore, one who fully understands the Supreme Person, material nature and the modes of material nature never takes birth again under any circumstances. Though, through meditation, some yogis glimpse the Supreme within the heart. Others see him through the process of analysis, Sankhya, while others perceive him through Karma Yoga. There are also those that do not know these methods, but simply by hearing about him from others. They engage in his worship because they have faith in what they have heard. They too transcend death. You should understand that whatever exists, whether moving or non-moving, is simply manifest from the combination of the field and the knower of the field, O best of the Bharat dynasty. One actually sees when he perceives the supreme controller as being situated in all living beings and realizes that neither the super consciousness nor the individual unit of consciousness is perishable. By seeing the supreme person situated in all places equally, one does not become degraded. Thus, he attains the supreme abode. One who realizes that all activities are performed by material nature understands that he is not the doer. When one truly sees, he ceases to identify the body as the self. Realizing that all living beings are equal, he attains the Brahman conception and sees them expanded everywhere. O son of Kunti, the super consciousness has no beginning. He is transcendental to the modes of nature and he is unlimited. Although he is situated within each individual body, he neither acts nor he is affected by any action. Just as the subtle element of all-pervading space does not mix with anything, similarly the individual unit of consciousness does not mix with the material body, although it is situated within. O Bharat, just as one sun illuminates the entire universe, the occupier of the field illuminates the whole field. One who knows and sees the difference between the body and the self and one who understands the process of liberation from material bondage also attains the supreme goal. Om Tat Sat Thus ends chapter 13 entitled Prakriti Purush Vivek Yoga from the conversation between Sri Krishna and Arjuna.